Thanks for joining us. A man says he was disgusted and shocked as he watched his neighbor beat up a small dog, so he grabbed his camera and started rolling. And police did get a hold of that video, as did 6 News reporter Jacqueline Kovac. Now, we want to warn you, what you're about to see may be difficult to watch, but Jackie has the story that you'll only see on 6. Jackie. Yeah, now I've watched this video myself and it's disturbing. Neighbors say Matthew Gibla kicked one of his two dogs and that's what made them start rep recording. Again, this video may be disturbing to some viewers, but remember, the dogs are being cared for tonight by the Humane Society. He just starts stomping on the dog's head. And you can hear it. I mean, if you turn up the video, you can actually hear the dog yelping because he's stepping on the poor thing. Jesse Gatos was rolling as police say his neighbor, Matthew Gibla, was kicking and punching Iris, a mini pincher. The video is tough to watch. You can see him kicking the animal. And here he is holding the dog by its hind legs and shaking it violently. I, I wanted to, honestly, I wanted to beat him up for it because that's just wrong. You don't do that to a poor dog. Investigators found Iris and another dog in the home, both badly injured. Officials shared these photos. Here is Iris's belly. The other dog, Samson, had some bleeding behind his eyes. You know, you see a video of what what's going on with these dogs, and you just it it kills you. According to Janine Gailey from the Humane Society, Gibla adopted the dogs from their shelter just three weeks ago. But they they do sign a contract whenever they adopt from us that they are to care for these animals forever, and obviously that wasn't happening. So we were able to go back in and uh, reclaim ownership of the dogs. Iris is receiving around the clock care and Samson is being cared for at the shelter. Now Gibla is in jail tonight, unable to post bond. He faces several charges, including two misdemeanor counts of animal cruelty. According to court documents, he is scheduled to be back in court on February 20th. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovacs, 6 News.